because Norman. Mother work overnight, huh? Yeah, boy. How about that for a part eight banger? Oi, oi, a little family bike ride. But I wonder what I'm up to. There must be a reason. Oi, oi. You may be wondering why. What am I doing on a push bike? And why have I got my fishing gear on? And I tell you why. It's because I'm on the hunt to catch a Park Lake Common. I want a 20 pounder, but I know there's a 30 pound Common in, in the back lake. And also, there's that mega looking mirror, Colin, that I've just got to capture just before it dies out, I tell you. You what? Arriving back in this swim has got that buzz back. It's ignited it, and I tell you. But I'm pretty determined to find at least one fish before I leave here. But come on, let's do it. Well, let me stop you there for one moment. I would just like to apologize. When I filmed this, it had been a while since I'd been in front of a camera, so I was a little bit rusty. That's the reason why it goes from portrait to landscape. But cut me a bit of slack. Let's get back to the video. So I found them. I can see three or four now. Let's see if I can try and get them on camera. I'm up to something different. I am doing my first night on the park lake because my lake is spawning. It's gotten it is, but it's life. Just gotta let them do their thing. But I'll show you how carpy is it. And there's fish showing everywhere. So hopefully, I've seen fish. You never know, I might end up nicking one. It's a bit, little bit boogie doing this park lake overnight, but when you want to catch a carp, you got to make the effort. So the plan of action is to walk the rod down there and try and have a little feel around and see what we see. Hopefully, we will catch a carp at the end of the lake. Just got to make sure we bank. So I had a little walk down there. What I can see is nice and clear of gravity. So I think there's like a gap in between the weed where I think the fish trail through. So I'm going to drop the rod down there and hopefully we'll catch a gas. So I'm about to get the rod out there now. Show the rig I've said. I've got a three ounce flat pair will pop up and wormer. I feel like this might do the bite. Come on, I'm gonna go out there, drop it out. I've got some bait in my pocket. I'm gonna spread around the rig. Let's get that rod out of there. About to put my second rod out there now. I've gone for a little mold pop up, little mesh bag, another wormer on a heli safe this time. We ain't dropping it, but I found a little bit, little circle of like clear area. I'm gonna put this rod out there. But I wish I had bigger bank uh, bank sticks. I should have bought bigger bank sticks. But at least I know for next time. But let's get this rod out there. I've got uh, one rod to go. And I'm feeling carpy. Boy, yeah. Tell me this does not look carpy. So the light levels are really bad at it. I don't really want to try the head torch. But I'm going to bed now. It's half nine. Hopefully to get woken up by a scaly bank. Just going to brush my teeth now. Get my nut down. Fingers crossed for me. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, when there's a rod missing, only means one thing. Must mean I got a banger in the net. But today, I got a f***ing catfish. Well, well, well. That rod's missing because of a bloody catfish. Didn't bother putting that one back out. But look at this beast. Yeah, boy. Park Lake specials. Did I have to get down into my pants to go and get out the weed, but we got there. Yeah, boy. Oh, 
Oi, oi, good morning. What a productive night it was then. Two fish, shame about the catfish, but it's what it is. But to get a, have a common on my other rod. Oi, I'm buzzing. I'm just gonna get my stuff together now because I'm a little bit far walk back to my work van. I'm gonna get my stuff together and get these photos done. Buzzing. It's a good Norman. Enjoying my first night overnighter on a park lake on a hunt to catch some scaly bangers. About 12 o'clock last night, my right hand rod ripped off and it was a bloody catfish. So I, got, I didn't bother putting that rod back out because it was too dark and I couldn't bother. But then the margin rod, the one you see you guys see me drop down, only ripped off, didn't it? On a yellow molt, worm or a liner. common could not resist it. What an absolute banger. 22.6. I'm proper over the moon. I can't wait to get down here and do another night. I'm going to slip her back because your boss is going to be pretty angry because I'm pretty late now. Let's get to work. Buzzing. I'll quick show you the other side. Fuck my boss. What an absolute belter. <laughs> Won't be long, we are spawning now. Yeah, fair. Buzzing. Oi oi, you only catch me down the park lake again. Had a few hours free. Couldn't resist after having them a few fish the other day and got myself back out on the bank. But as you see, come prepared this time. Got some big bank sticks and fish me over the top of the weed. But I feel pretty confident. There's definitely fish in the area. Let's hopefully nick one over these next few hours before I go on. This is the problem with park lakes here. Yeah? is f***ing rubbish mate everywhere you look people just jump dump their crap everywhere look so picking up this will hopefully give me a good deed to catch a banger eh oi oi so you join me down the park lake for an overworked night out. needed that bend in the rod and hopefully where I did so well last week they've got me a carport and a catfish but I feel pretty confident from what I learnt last week, I've got bigger storm poles, I've got my waders, and I've got my snips to cut some uh, cut some of these reeds back. So uh, as we see, I'm a little bit more prepared, but from fishing last time, there's a lot of these like the reeds in that come through, I'm gonna trim them up a bit and get some of these reeds. So I know when I land the fish, it's gonna be a lot safer, but I tell you what, it's gonna be worth the effort. So now I've done that, hopefully I'll get a bit of line mate, and none of the reeds disturb the line. I've got bigger storm holes to go in. Well, what a noddy move, eh? I didn't realise my waders didn't go up to my neck when I stepped a bit too far and the waters went down the back of my waders. What a noddy. Oh, 
goes a little bit deeper than I thought. But that's where. So now I've got this little trusty little before that. Where it's a little bit deep. So why them fish have just moved out the back, I'm going to move in, drop this rod, and strays on them. So the rods are out there, I'm pretty confident with the spots I've chosen, considering I've seen fish, especially where I've dropped the rod by hand. But I've got to say, big up to the missus, I didn't think I was going to be eating any grub tonight, where I wasn't really prepared to fish in. When I popped home to get my waders, she gave me a, get a little shopping bag with a baguette, ham, sweets and a drink. She must have known I needed that energy to catch carp. But I thought... We have received a couple of liners on two rods already. It could be not long until I catch a fish. See you soon. Hopefully we're banging in it. Well, 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 you know how it goes. When there's one rod missing, only means one thing. Must mean I've got a banger in that net. Yeah, boy. Another work overnighter. Had the rod out probably about an hour. See a fish, couple of fish show. I've got the rod right out on top of him. I caught this male. Long, I ain't weighed, it, weighed him, but it's definitely below a 20. A low, tw a low like 15, 16 pound, I'd say. But banger. It gave me a lot of confidence for this evening. I'm going to get her in back now. Let's hope for some more. Where is your girlfriend, mate? Where is she? I want a fat 30. Or 29, that'll do. <laughs> Honestly, normally when there's one rod missing, it's got I've got a banger in the net. But when there's another rod net missing, cool, must mean I've got another banger. So I was just packing up, making it easier for in the morning. And then the margin rod ripped off. Jumped out like a bloody blue marlin. And then while I was admiring it in the net, my other rod ripped off and I tell you that one might be its big cousin but let's slip this male back and I'll show you that bad. so how about that for a park lake banger bang on 19 pound as well I did call it but this is the one what I was telling you about what sort of colours are they absolute banging ones well third fish so far i better get the rods back out so i can hopefully catch another one and maybe catch one of his bigger cousins well i'm buzzing let's get him back see you later mate where's your big cousin at? So the rods are back out there on the spots, all three of them. It's left me full of confidence for this evening. Having three fish already, I'm absolutely buzzing, I tell you. The worm liners, the molves, we know are doing the deed. That's, that's two fish on the Ronnie and one on the Slip D with the blood liner. Honestly, buzzing. Let's see what the, tonight might bring as well. I've got to get some of this gear packed up, like sharpish together to make it easier for the pat down in the morning, but come on, plenty of time, buzzing. <laughs> God, I just got myself ready for bed. Just got a fresh pair of socks on that, but now we got wet again, because I've only got another little banger, so 
some little angry little mouth. Yeah, boy. This one's an angry little fella. As you can see, this hook was in there. Poor thing. Look, there's my rig. Still bang on in that mouth. Poor thing had that in it. So good morning, it's just gone kind of about half four, I'm going to start getting my gear together now, but a bit of an eventful night, three more car for one more tent, what a session, absolutely buzzing, but I need to start need to getting this gear together, because I can't be late this time, I've got to go and pick another gear up for work, but not my problem, <laughs> I'm too late, but yeah boy, what a campaign this is, let's get this gear together. Oi oi, as you know, I'm probably going to be bank side, but I would just like to thank everyone for taking time out of their day to watch my latest YouTube video. But until then, Park Lake Part 3, mm. fishing with Bam, over and out.